Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're in the garage today. I thought I would finally replace the temporary vertical dipole antenna that I made last January. So today, I'm going to be putting a new antenna on this radio. Alright, we're going to get to it now. I'm going to show you that build, the install, and a bunch of other stuff. We'll talk more later. So this is what I have so far. The coax connector, the SL239 is inside the pipe. I put an elbow on it and I got a little fly in there. Uh, it's soldered inside to the connector. And now I'm just going to fill that gap with some glue. So what I did was I took a 1 inch Schedule 40 PVC T and I put in an SO239 connector down inside of there with the active element going out the top of the antenna soldered to the center of that connector. Uh, then what I did was the flange, the mounting flange that's on that connector, I slipped it down into the T and it fit perfectly against the stops down in there. So then what I did was I took a uh, one inch long piece of pipe and notched out the end of it so that it fit perfectly over that flange and then glued that pipe in with PVC glue. Uh, after that I put some string around it to fill in all the gaps and the holes and then I put Gorilla Glue down inside just to seal it all up and keep it so it doesn't wiggle at all. Uh, then I put an elbow on it. The elbow I put on because the ring on it is knurled and the antenna wire will really grab hold of that because the ground plane wires are clamped to that outer ring of the elbow and then my coax will connect here. Uh, I sealed the bottom of this pipe. This goes in here and then this will get mounted to the mast because this is below the antenna. And then the long piece of PVC that's on the floor behind me will get slid over this wire and seal up the top half of this. And these ground plane wires will be at a 37 degree angle. Uh, <laughs> everywhere I've read, they all say to put the ground plane radials between 30 degrees and 45 degrees. So I'm going to split the difference and go 37. Uh, I did all the calculations and I know exactly where it needs to be. Uh, five foot three down from here uh, will be the end of this wire will be six foot eight from the mast to where the end of the wire is and that should put me at exactly a 37 degree angle on both of these wires. Okay, the antenna's all put together. I guess I have to go outside now and put the pole up. The mounting section is all glued in. The glue is all dry around the connector. The wires are all trimmed to exactly 102.54 inches long. Uh, that should give me a, a really close to perfect match on channel 38, which is what I use all the time. The cap is on the top and all glued on. I do have the top of the pole is, isn't is glued into the T yet. Uh, just in case I have to tune the antenna, this way I can flip the pole off, trim a little bit off the wire that's inside, and then put the pole back on, and once I get a good tune, then I'll glue it in.
All right, so a little bit of up and down on the roof. Trimming it, now it's all glued together. And my final reading, I got 1.2 on 40. And barely 1.1 on one. I, I think that's the best I'm gonna get it. Because the way it is right now, either on channel one or on 40, I don't need to reset the meter. And I've learned in the past, once it gets to the point when you go to calibrate it, uh, and it say, stays on set for both 40 and 1, you're not really going to get a better tune than that. You know, you're right smack in the, the middle of where it can be. So I got 1.2 on 40 and 1.1 1 .1 on 1. Right. Okay, so the pole is in, and the antenna is on it. I have my ground plane wires running down at a 37 degree angle. I have them zip tied to a couple of pieces of string, some heavy outdoor string, heavy duty outdoor string. And that, those are attached with a screw into the rake boards on both sides. I got a really good match on it, I'm happy with it. And so far it seems to be working great. We're going to go inside tonight and we're going to see if we can make any local contacts on this thing later on. There's usually a few guys on after dinner. Break one nine. Anybody out there give me a radio check? Tell me how this new antenna is doing. It's down five. Copy that. What's your 20 out there? Oh, no westbound at the... Uh, I don't know. Let me tell you. <laughs> westbound at the 106. CQ, CQ, 151, Rembert, standing by. There you are. <laughs> Here I am. Who's over there? Six, two, uh, hey, not bad, Dave. How about yourself? Long time we haven't talked. Yeah, just keep it busy, do Yeah, same here. A lot, lot going on lately. Hey, copy that on the new neighbors. Yeah, I just put up a new antenna today. How's this thing sounding? Pretty good. I haven't taken a look at the meter yet, but uh, it's good and clear. Where are you located right now? Uh, Shaw Air Force Base. Ah, copy that. Yeah, so you're probably about 15 miles away from me. Nice. Yeah, you're doing about the same over here. Pretty close to it. So what you put up? I built a homemade ground plane antenna for the back of my garage. Okay. Match up good, Dan. Yeah, it actually worked out pretty good. I got a, a 1.2 on 40 and a 1.1 1 .1 on 1. Uh, it's actually not that high. The base of it is about 18 feet off the ground. Okay, but it's still doing a real good job. Copy that, and I thank you for the radio check there. Yeah, it took me uh, all day to build this one. Oh, yeah? What kind of style did you do? I did uh, one inch Schedule 40 PVC for the pot going straight up. And that's attached to a pole, and I used 12-gauge uh, copper wire inside of that. And it has two ground radials going down at 37-degree angle, both of those being 12-gauge copper wire also. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think maybe you want to add two uh, or more of those uh, ground radials there just to, just to get it better ground, but uh, sounds like it's got enough. Yeah, with it being mounted on the gable end of the garage, there was no way to really put uh, a third radio. So I, I worked it out with two. The uh, one I have on my house is set up the exact same way. It just has the two running down to the rake boards.
I right, copy that. So you got it tuned for 10? Yeah, I got you. You can use the tuner and, and bring it back in. Really? Where do you have it mounted? Copy that. So that's a that's a long wire dipole. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. About it there, shotgun. You get a copy on the 151? What'd you say your QTH is? Where are you located? So I hope you enjoyed the build, the install, and the actual testing out. Uh, the first guy I talked to was on channel 19. He was four to five miles away from me. Uh, the next ones I talked to were 625 Dave in the Sumter area, and he was about 15 miles away in a mobile. Uh, he was running a, a Galaxy, I believe, a... I'm not sure, but I think it's about a 100 watt radio. While talking with Dave, uh, what was his name? Shotgun broke in, and it was his first time on sideband, first time I ever talked to him. Uh, he was in Paxville, South Carolina, which is about 30 miles away. <coughs> After him, I talked to Bob in Northeast Columbia. Unfortunately, the camera that I had on this radio while talking to him, the camera malfunctioned, uh, but I did get coverage of it from my house radio. Uh, unfortunately, the house radio doesn't pick him up all that well. Uh, this one did only a little bit better than what the Washington did. But I'm very satisfied with the way it's working. 
Uh, I think this antenna is going to work out fantastic, and it's now a permanent antenna. The antenna that's there is what's staying there. Uh, I'm sure I'll be building more antennas, uh, but not to replace that one. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.